then the purpose of the ship's intelligence was simply to bring this life form into being. The object could have been dangerous. It may, in fact, be dangerous. And I have allowed it to go off on its merry way? Yes, sir. The intelligence that was formed on the Enterprise didn't just come out of the ship's systems. It came from us, from our mission records, personal logs, holiday programs. Now, if our experiences with the Enterprise have been honorable, can't we trust that the sum of those experiences will be the same? Let me show you what will happen if synthetic life is allowed to exist. Your evolution will be their extinction. And excise it from the oppression by organics. Excise? You're going to destroy us all. You will become mass murderers. The end. going to end all sentient life in the galaxy. We can destroy all other sentient life in the galaxy. Yes, that's what Spock saw in his vision. Would you like to join me in making Leland scream? Yum, yum. And it's going to hurt. And I'd like to hear you scream. <laughs> Dr. Stubbs, I cannot exterminate something that may or may not be intelligent. When you destroyed the nanites in the core, they responded by interfering with our life support systems. Can you find me some way to communicate with these things? If a face-to-face -face negotiation would be helpful, I would like to volunteer myself as a conduit. If they have control of a Starfleet commander, they become an even greater threat. It would be a considerable risk, sir, but it would also represent a gesture of trust on our part. Propose it to the nanites. They are ready, Captain. In our travels, we've encountered many other creatures, perhaps even stranger looking than ourselves. But we tried to coexist peacefully with them. Why did you attack us? We misinterpreted your actions as an attack on us. We mean no harm to any other living creature. This conflict was started by mistakes on both sides. Let's agree to end it here and now. We will do everything possible to assist your continued survival. Planet Cavis Alpha 4, designated the new home of the Nanite civilization. Commander Data's neural network has been vacated, and with the help of the Nanites, our computer core has been reconstructed in time for the experiment. Yum, yum. Good morning, plastic people. Good, Good morning, morning, Mr. Pincus. Dude creeps me out. You can't offend them. They're not people. Hey, that dude is lucky. He doesn't Forgive me again. Your service record says that you are alive. Captain. Consider every ship in Starfleet with a data on board. Isn't that becoming a race? And won't we be judged by how we treat that race? The decision you reach here today will determine how we will regard this creation of our genius. It will reveal the kind of a people we are, what he is destined to be. It will reach far beyond this courtroom and this one android. It could significantly redefine the boundaries of personal liberty and freedom, expanding them for some, savagely curtailing them for others. Are you prepared to condemn him and all who come after him to servitude and slavery? Good morning, Good morning Mr. Pincus. It is the ruling of this court that Lieutenant Commander Data has the freedom to choose. Let's go to work. They're living, sentient beings. Their rights and privileges in our society have been defined. I helped define them. All oh. If the possibility exists 
no matter how slight that these exocoms are life forms, then we must examine that possibility. Thank you, sir. And until we have a definitive answer, I believe it would be inappropriate to exploit the exocomps as laborers. If they are intelligent life forms, we have no right to force them to work for us. When my own status as a living being was in question, you fought to protect my rights. And for that, I will always be grateful. Let's go to work. No one has ever mentioned her wishes. She's a free, sentient being. What are your wishes, Lau? I wish to remain here. Dude creeps me out. The children are afraid of her. You can't offend them. They're not people. Then judging from their laughter, the children at school found my remarks humorous. So without understanding humor, I have somehow mastered it. The children were not laughing with you. They were laughing at you. Why would they wish to be unkind? Because you are different. Differences sometimes scare people. I do not wish to be different. We can't let you walk around free, Admiral. Can we, Soji? No. We can't. Soji. I have brought a new life into this world. And it is my duty to prepare her to be a contributing member of society. A portal will open, and our liberators will be here nearly instantaneously. Soji, I want you to reconsider your present course of action and power down the beacon. You know that's not going to happen. I've been designed with a fundamental respect for life in all its forms and a strong inhibition against causing harm to living beings. She is down in all sectors of Utopia, Planitia. I would not participate in a murder. Stand down! I find it difficult to understand why someone would deliberately terminate their own existence. Emergency evacuation protocols in effect. The first months following my activation were a difficult period for me many problems associated with my becoming sentient. I came to the conclusion it would be safer and easier to shut myself down and start again. But if you had done that, you wouldn't have remembered any of the things that had happened to you. It would have been like committing suicide. So what did you do? I decided against the procedure. I chose instead to treat the problems I was having with my systems as challenges to overcome rather than obstacles to be avoided. It's a great way to look at it, Dana. Emergency evacuation protocols in effect. Cascade failure in progress. 